a continuous random variable x. So you already mentioned continuous random variable having probability density function at the chip. So normally we when we're doing probability density function, continuous random variable, we draw out our interval. So what's your interval involving function here? It will be 2 until 3, k minus 3 plus x. Other than that, no function. Other than that, 0 means here no function, no area. So for the first part, question A, show that k equals to 3 over 2, as we know. Continuous random variable, total probability must be equal to 1. So in continuous random variable, probability is represented by total area. Total area, continuous random variable, total area must be equal to 1. So we're going to integrate 2 until 3 for this function. equals to 1. So remind here, have to write your dx. Siapa tak tulis dx? Kita terus tolak satu markah. Okay, then we start doing this integration. It will be kx minus 3x plus power plus 1 over new power, upper limit 3, lower limit 1. Then we substitute upper limit. Minus lower limit 2. Then we figure out what is our k. So our k will be equal to 3k minus 2k. We get k only. Lah. So this figure all move to the right hand side. Directly can give you 3 over 2. Shown. Then for question B, from finding F to G, Charlie that the F was off, cumulative F So, So, daripada F to G, na long go that the F was off, then you into what's in You add the satu function. So, add the bra first step this in it, you add the figure step. Sebelum interval 2, semasa interval 2 dengan 3, dan selepas interval 3. 3 step. Alright? So, bukan sini saja, buat tengah-tengah saja, bukan. One step, one, one by one. So, for question B. Starting the interval before 2, it will be at less than equals 2. Y got equal, you can see in, in the interval 2 and 3, 2 is not involved. So, sebelum 2, X pulang sama dengan 2. Maka, F besar adalah, ada apa-apa function di sini? Tak ada. So, ada apa area di sini? Tak ada. So, probability di sini? Kosong. So, you, your step must be clearly start from 0. How do you accumulate up to 1? So, first step, we done. Now, we moving to here. Second step, which is in the interval 2 and 3. So, F versus. How do you calculate F versus? We take before plus current interval. Before this. You look at before this. We don't have any, prob we don't have any probability. We don't have any function. So, 0. Currently, we have function in this interval, so we're going to integrate for 2 up to x for this function, k, where k is 2 over 3. We found it just now, and then dx. Three over two k, yes. So three over two k, okay. Minus three, we can simplify. What is that? Negative. Three over two. Oh, 
Okay, then we can start in the rate, in the rate constant, you get x. In the rate x, x squared over 2, then upper limit x, lower limit 2. So substitute x. When you substitute x, nothing will be changed. It will be remain x that. Akan kekal seperti begini. So what you substitute x, maksudnya remain in term x. Tolak. Substitute value of 2. So simplify the value. Simplify the value here. It will be plus 1, yes. So we done our step 2. We go for our step 3. Means this interval now is done. Now we add here. So when you add here, you can see you are after 3. So your interval should be written x more than equal 3. So adverse are same concept before interval plus current interval. So you can see before that, when you add this interval, before that, how many that have you accumulate? You have accumulate up to 3. So before that is accumulate up to 3. F besar tiga. Currently, we don't have any function here. Means currently, we don't have any area, any probability here. So currently, 0. So F3, we find accumulate as maximum sini. Before that, substitute your x is 3. So we get 1. So after all these 3 steps, we have to write it in our function. F besar, apa dia? Cata balik. Apakah function kamu dan apakah interval kamu? So the first one, 0. For x, less than equals 2. Jawapan yang kedua, negative 3 over x plus x squared over 2 plus 1, it is 4. In between 2 and 3. Then lastly, we get 1, it is 4, x more than equal 3. And then this question is continuous. Look at the wording here, hence. Setur, diteruskan dengan cari median. Kita boleh cari median menggunakan F kecil. Kita boleh mencari median menggunakan F besar. Tetapi bila soalan di sini dia kata you cari F besar dulu, kemudian diteruskan mencari median. Bermaksud di sini, median kita hanya akan terima kamu cara mengguna F besar. So, kamu tak boleh integrate 2 until median k minus 3 plus x dx. No. This is not follow the instruction from the questions. So, we follow the question using F besar means Fm equals to 0 0.5. Where your median allocate? Dia akan berlaku di tengah-tengah sini. So, our median happen in the interval 2 and 3. So we substitute the median value m. Okay, so for this quadratic, we simplify. Cantikkan dia, kita darab 2. m square, tolak 3m, tambah 1, sama dengan kosong. Ni darab 2, darab 2, pindah, rearrange. And then you can notice that this quadratic can factorize or not. Where your a is 1, your m is negative 3, and then c is 1. So you can see your roots is in decimal, means it cannot be factorized. You don't perform the factorized method. Other than factorization, you can use a formula. Negative b plus minus b square minus 4ac. So that will be more accurate to show us how you get your roots. Bukan dengan factorize sebab kita punya roots, kita punya quadratic solutions ini adalah decimal. 
tak mungkin kita boleh factorize. Okay, so okay, so this is not our final answer yet. As why I what I say median, median fall in between two and three, so the value m can be accepted is only two point six one three. So this is rejected. <laughs>